All right, hey, what's up everybody? Uh, as promised today, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video of this guy right here. This is the AR Speed Spec Starter Pack, Mini Four Wheel Drive car. Um, so I already have a similar car to this. I actually have it here. It's my Tune Class car. Um, it doesn't have any of the rollers on it or anything right now because I was anticipating getting this car uh, to rebuild. So this is also an AR chassis. It actually started as an Aero Avanti like this one does. The difference is this comes with the RevTune motor and a whole bunch of extra parts. Um, so the reason I got this, because again, obviously I already have a Tune Class car. Um, I wanted to get the RevTune motor and you know, they MSRP like three or four bucks. But, you know, as anyone that does mini four-wheel drive knows, sometimes you have to pay a lot more. So like eight to $10. I ended up getting this for like 15 bucks. So, of course, I'm going to get the extra car, uh, which comes with super hard tires, a bunch of extra parts. Uh, and I'm actually really excited about this part on the back, the uh, ABS brake. I haven't been able to find this. Um, and it's a bigger ABS brake. And it's cool because it's got some extra mounting position. So I'm excited about that. It's got all the extra blue parts. Uh, and then I'm going to mash this together with my Tune Class car um, and have a bunch of additional parts to uh, get to my next Tune Class car. So before we start, I wanted to show you this. So similar in size, this is um, an FMA chassis that came with it, home track. So similar in size for the boxes. So see, pretty similar. Um, it's a little bit deeper, which I guess accounts for the extra parts. So we'll see. Just wanted to show you that. Maybe I'll do an unboxing on that video next. So let's open it up. So I still got the plastic on everything. I actually got this uh, yesterday. Uh, it came in the mail. So let's see here. Awesome. Okay, and this is the first unboxing video I'm doing. So if I do it wrong, I'm sorry. All right, let's do this. So open the box. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. Uh, you just got all the parts stuffed in there, which is pretty normal for the mini four-wheel drive uh, parts. Actually, here, let me do this. Put this inside there. So my OCD is uh, taken care of. Okay, so first off, on the very top, super hard tires. These come in handy. Um, usually I run super hard tires on the back. I always run uh, the red uh, low friction tires on the front. They really help the car handle a lot better. Um, sometimes I run hard tires on the back. So... But these are good to have because um, you go through tires. Here are extra wheels. Uh, it's interesting. They're actually this light blue color. They're a different color than the body, which is this. I actually wish they matched, although I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use the body. I actually really like this body, but I already have one. And then I have a uh, the polycarbonate cyclone magnum body on my Tune Class car, which is a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to paint it. It's going to be cool. Okay, so... Regular uh, five-spoke wheels in blue. The next part out was this. Uh, so the body uh, on the parts tree still, Aero Avanti body. Uh, I actually really like that blue. And it's, it's interesting. The other blue in here is also different. When I get down to that, you'll see that. So here is the brake part that I was talking about. Uh, I don't know. I, you can buy these, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, oh, it also comes with plastic spacers of different sizes, which come in handy. Now I have a ton of aluminum and plastic uh, spacers already. When you buy parts, they give you so many extra, depending on your setup. So I have like a box full of washers and nuts. Uh, so anyone's looking for that stuff, because sometimes they can be hard to find, just buy a bunch of parts after we buy like two or three sets of parts, uh, which are a couple dollars, you'll have a ton of extras. But yeah, excited about this. The bigger uh, break. And I believe this comes with a brake pad. Yeah, I see it in here. Um, so that's the next one. So I'm going to put this aside. The next one is a parts bag. So it comes with different uh, different brake sponges. I don't know if this is considered, considered sponge. I have the blue. I have the red, which come with like the uh, FRP parts. And they are nice. These are nice as well. And I got to see. Yeah, this is actually looks like it's pre-cut to size to fit on the uh, brake. This also has a screwdriver, and I have a screwdriver, but this is nice, because it's made by Tamiya. Um, here's all the, most of the FRP parts actually fit in this bag. So it's got, it's like in here, the back bumper, and then the side mass damper set, and it's got the little ball ends. I like those better than the mushroom cap ends. It's like some extra spring washers and small metal spacers. Oh, cool, and it has the, uh, 
reinforced pinion, which is nice. Um, okay, so here is all of the mechanical parts with the next one out. Um, so in there, let me see. So I have to tune it so you can see it the way it is in the bag. So see, it comes with the rev tune motor. So I'll break this in. Most likely, I'm going to use the atomic tune motor for most of my setups. I have the torque tuned two for uh, my tune class as well. But this is cool. Like I said, it, it I haven't been able to find this well without spending like ten or so dollars. Um, so it was just better to get the kit. Uh, let's see, regular shaft in here. Uh, regular shafts for the axles. I have extended shafts uh, that I just got that I'm going to put in it. And standard gear set. Tons of extra pieces. So it's like uh, more aluminum spacers on all the regular stuff. And some grease. I don't use this grease usually. I use the uh, ceramic grease. I actually tried using a ton of different oil. I'll do another video on this. I actually use sewing machine oil. I tried everything. Sewing machine oil is okay. It's so hard, it like doesn't it barely does anything. I found if you do um, the ceramic grease from Tamiya and you do it really, really light, it works better than the oil. It stays on there a little bit better and it does not slow it down at all. At least not, you know, without really putting a stopwatch on it and uh, testing it. So keep doing that. Here is the chassis. Not on the part tree. They just come loose in these um, standard AR chassis. AR chassis is interesting. I actually really like the AR chassis compared to the other one I haven't tried. The newer chassis is the VZ chassis. So I'll have to try that. Um, but this is nice because it is all snapped together. You don't have like that extra uh, screw that holds on the cover for the counter gear. It all snaps together. And then all the main parts you can access from the bottom. So that is the bottom of the chassis. Um, and it's nice because you know, you put your counter gear in. I have the ball bearing uh, set for that. So you put that in and then snap that in and put your body on. So I don't want to keep taking the poly body on and off. It's a little bit more of a pain than the ABS body. So then you put that on. Then it's basically on like for the race, unless you have to make a big adjustment, like and change your counter gear. But then you can access everything else from the bottom of the car. Um, all the shafts, your motor, et cetera. It actually makes it really easy. Usually like in between heats, then I can pull the batteries out put new batteries in and put, I have a little cooler magnet put on the motor. These don't really get that hot, not compared to like the slot cars. They used to, I mean, we used to run those into the ground, um, but it's still nice. So here's that chassis. You guys probably don't care about the, the AR chassis. You've probably seen it, but that's what it looks like. And then here is all of the awesome additional blue swag parts. Um, so I'm actually really excited about this because this will look so dope on my car. I'm actually going to paint, um, my tune class, let me grab it again. So it's in my box right here. So this one, um, I'm actually going to paint this hot pink, like the old school, the hot pink with like the blue drip going up it with my airbrush. Uh, and I'll try and match up this blue. I have similar, so it's going to look dope. I'm really excited about that. Um, like I said, it's weird. The blue in the kit doesn't match. Um, so it must be different runs. You would think they would try to, you would think, try to match it up. Usually to me, it does a good job with the colors, but it's distinctly three different colors of blue. So that's a drawback. If I was going to run this car as is, then I would probably care a little bit more. Ooh, and other interesting thing I didn't notice is because this is really just the exact uh, parts tree you get for the standard AR chassis cars, um, just in a different color blue. It actually has the regular brake on there, um, which is nice because then I could still use that if I didn't want to use the big brake. Like if, for example, the track didn't have a lot of uh, elevation changes or jumps they always do but in case they didn't right then you could get rid of that or you could use the smaller one but yeah the blue is gonna look dope on there um i'm not gonna use the rollers at all i don't use i have uh 19 millimeter uh ball bearing rollers for the back uh so two sets of those and then uh the 12 13 millimeter rollers for the front and i got a sliding damper which is really hard to get right now so that's going to be so dope it's a little heavy but i actually have found um the being a little heavier is doesn't matter unless you have like an a, an identical car and it can stay on the track and it's a little bit lighter maybe that's not wrong you guys can disagree with me disagree in the comments i would love to hear how that's wrong or what your setups are um, but again, I've just found that sometimes being a little heavier can help you stay in a little bit better and you got to finish the race to win the race. So, okay. So that is mostly it. And then the regular, uh, Tamiya joint stuff in the, in here, 
Um, let's see, instructions. The Tamiya, uh, I always love these Tamiya graphics. <laughs> I remember seeing these when I was a kid and they didn't have an English translation. Now they do the English translation on the back. I just think it's funny because now I can read it, but like I know these images so well. They've been using the same images forever. Uh, decals for the body or stickers. They're not decals, they're stickers. Uh, these are identical to the ones that I have on the other body. Um, my ABS body for that. So nothing new there. And it does give you... Actually, wait a second. Let's see, because that looks different. So this one is not actually instructions. This is all the parts that come with the speed pack. So it's actually more of a readout of the parts, which is nice. Because then if you're new or you've only had a really basic car, then it shows you what all the parts are and tells you what the, oh, and it even gives you the numbers on them. FRP wide front plate, 15451, etc. That's actually really nice. Because sometimes it can be hard to find like a listing of all the parts. And again, if anybody knows, I would love to see like it's so hard to see a listing of all the parts. You can see them on Tamiya's website, but not like a full read. I just want a catalog, like an old school catalog. So here is, uh, let's see, instructions. Okay, so this just shows you how, this does not show you how to set up the car. This shows you how to set up the additional parts like the FRP plates and the brake and the rollers. Which again makes sense because if you've never uh, done you know more of a, a tuned up car like a tuned class car um, or an open class car then that will come in handy and then let's see what is this one another set of, uh, i bet this is probably the regular instructions just to set up the car as is so let's see here yes yeah, so this is everything but it does not show rollers there are different instructions but this is to set up transmission the motor and all that so cool okay well hopefully you guys like that um sorry i tend to ramble on i get really excited about this stuff but it's cool hopefully i'll see you guys uh see you folks i should say guys and gals um at a race here at some point um i'll be at the triple a hobbies uh, next race it should be the first sunday in july um we've been racing there this year kipton and myself my son kipton and it's been awesome he's gotten really into it as well we've been doing pretty good we haven't won anything yet but um we were getting a lot closer especially with box talk last time so we'll see and hopefully this setup will or parts from the setup will help great love to hear what you think uh in the comments all that standard stuff you're supposed to say and i will see you soon thanks